Wow! MacBook Pro. This is a new addition to my home. Nice. No matter how is the product, the packaging is amazing. Fortunately for us, also the products are amazing, even if they are quite expensive. Let's see what we have here. This is the MacBook. I will leave it aside for now. We have, welcome to your MacBook Pro. What else? Nothing. Oh, very nice. I never had um, black logos. There is nothing here. It's just a very thick cardboard. Come on, this is wasted material. Okay, what else? We have the cable, which is interesting. USB-C and MagSafe. So this means the power adapter is USB-C. Exactly, this is the power adapter, which is the same size as the one that came with my MacBook Pro, Intel one. This is 96 watts USB-C power adapter. The MacBook Pro 14 inch with 8 core CPU comes with 67 watts USB-C power adapter. This one is 10 cores. So from 10 cores up is coming with 96 watts USB-C power adapter. In comparison, this is the power adapter which came with my MacBook Pro, Intel one that I bought uh, last year and it's exactly the same. The cable is covered with some material. I hope it will last more than the others. I remember the one that came with MacBook Air. It's yellow already and I think I've changed it twice. So let's hope this one will be better. When I had to replace the one on MacBook Air, I had to buy the entire package and this way if the cable will be ruined you will have to buy only the cable so this is a plus let's see the computer very nice it's a space gray on this left side we have MagSafe two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 and audio input output and here we have SD card reader, which was, uh, I don't know, very much wanted. I did not use it so much. We have another USB-C and HDMI. Unfortunately, this one also came without glowing logo, but we got used to it already. This is MacBook Pro 16 inch one year old you see this is the difference between 16 inch and 14 inch it's way thicker i will show it to you now new models are thicker and they have also some legs which makes them even thicker i hope you will not notice this when you are uh, typing i enjoy very much this macbook it has 64 giga of ram two terabytes ssd and 5600 m amd graphics adapter this one costed a lot about six thousand euros and this one is way cheaper two thousand and something let's see nice another piece of paper which got caught here a bit they've changed the keyboard this is the Intel one. As you can see, it doesn't have touch bar anymore. The trackpad is way smaller. If you are jumping from MacBook Air to MacBook Pro 14 inch, so you know it is smaller than MacBook Air and almost thicker. I, do, I think they have the same size. This one has smaller edge, but it gets thicker on the middle. You can hide it behind MacBook Air. <laughs> you see? Okay, nice. Also, if you are going from MacBook Air to 14 inch MacBook Pro, you won't miss touch bar because this one doesn't have touch bar. Also, the trackpad is bigger, as you can see. 
there is no logo here anymore this is unfortunate <laughs> this one has the writings here macbook pro 16 inch unfortunately i don't know i say unfortunately because i liked to see macbook pro written there here is nothing you see nothing is written here so this is one thing which is not anymore okay perfect i will set this one up after that i will show you some benchmarks games of course i want to show you what games you can play if you've seen my a video about Mac Mini. I've played several games on it and I can wait to test games on this one because I was pretty amazed uh, what the other one can do even if you cannot install Windows directly and there is another thing which should be very nice FaceTime camera like I said I will transfer the data from this one to the new one and we'll see what else when I transfer information from old Mac to the new one, usually I do time machine backup on the old one and just restore on the new one. Today I'll try a different approach. On the old Mac, I just started Migration Assistant and I choose to another Mac and continue. Uh, it's running on battery, but I will plug it in, no problem. Now it's written discoverable as MacBook Air. I'm going to the new Mac and select from a Mac time machine backup or startup disk, continue. And here you see there is MacBook Air listed and I'm selecting it and press continue. Now there is a code here and here. I press continue on the old Mac and new one just got the information that the old machine accepted it and confirmed the number and now I'm just waiting for it to do the transfer. 